Hi there, Mr. Cage from Santa Ana High School, doing another instructional video for the cello on Night Shift by Richard Meyer. Uh, just like most of my videos, I will play it straight through and then I'll go through and chunk it out for your practice. Night shift is uh, pretty accomplishable. Uh, the, the notes aren't too difficult, but if you're not used to shifting, this is going to be one of those that you have to practice uh, the shifting exercises that you would find in another video. Uh, so for this piece, uh, we want to make sure that we're very accurate about dynamics, rhythm, and then of course the shifts. So the beginning starts out nice and soft. have a crescendo marked in measure three. So that crescendo we need to make sure we're absolutely start starting from nothing and then each note builds right so right and then the pizzicato is immediately back down to piano right so you don't really have to dig in much. Just let it be soft. Then measure six. Uh, this is where the shifting starts. So it's between first position and fourth position. The fourth position is pretty easy. All you have to do is drop your hand to the bout of the instrument and generally that'll be E which is fourth position. And then the other thing too is don't get carried away. It's a lovely tune, but it is still at the piano dynamic, so we don't need to play it too loud. And then that's where the crescendo should be, and then goes on to 14 which should be all forte, right? Um, so again, just be very careful about, sorry. Make sure it's really smooth. And then as you shift 
make sure that the thumb is going with the, the rest of your hand. So my thumb is already in the crux of the, the neck. So you don't have to dig in so much. Then when we get to 14, everybody, the whole orchestra joins you. And we're all playing nice and loud with straight eighth notes. So the important thing is to know what eighth notes we should be playing out. The secret is any notes that change. So if you're on a like four repeated notes, they're not as important. But as you make the change, that's when you bring it out. So the first one should be loud. So bring that out. Right? should hear. And if the whole orchestra does it, it becomes a lot more fluid, and then everyone's changing at different times, so we hear different people bringing out different parts. And then, um, measure 20, make sure you count your rests. Half rest, half rest, and then 22 is similar to nine, or 14, but now it's mezzo piano. crescendo, um, notice at 27, that can be heard or played out more. Then the crescendo at 28 needs to be soft so that you can make the crescendo. This is fortissimo. So dig in. Right? And go all the way to the end. Right? And then 33, legato. That way, we can make sure that we show the dynamic change at 38, nice and soft. Right? And then, do be aware that those quora notes, each one of them, has two slashes on it. Those two slashes are indicators that those quora notes should be divided and then subdivided. So it should be four sixteenth notes. One e and a for each quora note. So one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a, right? So for every uh, quarter note, you play four sixteenths, right? And then make sure you crescendo at 39. And then big sound. And then less. Nothing. Now, I pluck with my tall finger, and I don't brace. If we're going fast, it might be wise for you to brace. And you can pluck with either your first finger or your tall finger. Uh, but if you brace your thumb against the side of the fingerboard, then it's a little bit more accurate. Show those 
dynamic. So fortissimo on the arco entrance, and then it comes back to forte. <laughs> same thing that we did earlier at 14, showing the changes in the pitches. And then 57, start saw, and then big crescendo, right? And it really starts on that quarter note. And then 59, just be careful that you put in your rest. So this is measure 58, rest, rest, rest. Last two notes. You don't even have to try, just as soft as you can. And when we multiply it by 60 kids in uh, the honor orchestra, it'll really be heard, just right together. So uh, that is Night Shift for the cello. Hopefully uh, you found this somewhat informative. And um, yeah, just practice those shifts and dynamics. Happy practicing. <laughs>